Hey, yo, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization VI with the preview of Gathering Storm. We are playing as Canada, and yes, yes, this is Quill, even though we are playing a weirdly diplomatic, pacifist run. We've got three alliances. We've never truly declared a war. A couple of wars we got semi-sucked so into because of our alliances, but um, I don't think a single shot was fired um in any of those wars which is kind of nice to see i'm a little leery about uh, phoenicia having so many troops over here but we are friends we've actually got an alliance with phoenicia so i don't know they're just on their way somewhere else we do have um a chinese city here that has rebelled and become independent in six turns it should flip to us in the meantime these guys might rip apart a little bit of the train but that should be the only threat i don't think they can hurt any of our cities or anything like that and we've got another Chinese city over here, which will turn neutral soon. The only question is, will it flip to us, or will it be flipping to Phoenicia? And uh, that, I guess, remains to be seen. I guess we can't see the um, the blinky symbol yet of who they're going to turn into, right? I thought we would. Does it not show the chief influence over here? Maybe that's just something that happens with CQUI. I don't know. Anywho... I think we can go ahead next turn here. The World's Fair is going on. Uh, we're not in the greatest position over here. It's just great people point per turn. We'll get a reward, but that's about all. Meanwhile, we are hoping... I don't know. We, we, we may still look into a diplomatic victory. may do some sort of tourist victory. We'll see how it is. We're not going to be going for any sort of religious victory. We're just keeping some Inquisitors out in a boot just to, um, to sort of defend ourselves here. Uh, from other religions from encroaching on our territory. Let's take a look at the world rankings over here. In terms of science, um, the placement is based on how many technologies are researched, but I'm more interested in the science per turn. So we're at 154 for that. 209 with Cyrus. 309 with Congo. See, China's got the most science, but it's not making much more science than we are. Um... We'll take an actual look at the cultural victory situation. No one's really doing much tourism yet. Um, okay. And then the rest, I mean, tourism's going to be fine. Or, religion's going to be fine. Diplomatic victory, we've got, you know, we're leading with two out of ten right now. Who knows? That may be our path to victory. And it would be nice because it's a new one. So it'd be pretty sexy if we could pull that off. Some of the religions are changing over here. we got a spy mission... We fabricated a scandal. Oh, in a city-state. Yes. Uh-huh. And we do have to keep as much suzerainship as we possibly can along the way. That would be really nice. Winnipeg over here has completed a commercial hub. I guess we'll go ahead and go right to market so we can get another trade route going. We're at six or seven. There might be one that's just idle. We could do some more scandals in Mohendaro. Let's take a look over here. Right now, there's no suzerain, which means someone else has six points over here. So we would like to go and um, we'll probably fabricate another scandal here. Keep removing other people's influence from that. That would be kind of handy. Uh, we've got a field cannon over here. I think it's awake because we're sort of hoping to maybe get in and just cover the area over here, which seems okay. Might be tempted to almost buy some of these tiles just to get our coal and whatnot going a little faster, but it's going to be okay. Here's our idle trade route here. Do we want it coming out of Quebec City? I think the answer is yes, because we are actually producing a wonder over here, and we'd like to finish more wonders. Again, who is playing this game? Uh, I'm just sorting by production over here. And yeah, these international trade routes are still going to be good for science and culture. Is this one here? Yeah, it's going to go right through sort of... No, wait, where's the... Yeah, this would, I think, go through Chen over here. So if we do this, uh, a white route to here. How come I can't see the um, the white route the whole way? It must just be overwritten by the graphics of these other trade routes. So that's making me think it's actually going this way, because you can see it going through Halifax. So maybe this would be perfectly fine and not go through there. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that and cross our fingers. I don't know. There's something odd going on. Uh, we have tons of money. I think I'll go ahead and upgrade you to a field cannon. We don't have a professional army, but that's okay. Again, I still wish there was sort of an alert mode for our religious units where they could just wake up if there's an enemy religious unit nearby. That would be really nice. Inquisitors are only good at fighting within your own borders. They're really good at doing that. Chemists do not but that's usually it. Stutter. Chemistry unlocks the they research lab, which we definitely want. Oh, yeah, See power, too. Avatar. That's a whole another thing that we haven't really gotten started on. Um, 
we might just research replaceable parts as is. I mean, we don't have any boost to any of these. We could do some half research. Boost through great scientist or spy. I guess, you know what we'll do? We'll go ahead and research rocketry because there's a chance we won't get that boost since it's not something you can just trigger through your actions or anything like that. So we'll see. So four turns over here, one turn over there. If we had a um, an entertainment hub over here, then we could do the bread and circuses and give even more cultural pressure. But we don't, so we can't. We do have an airport built here, which is interesting. So yeah, these Inquisitors are just going to sit tight. I don't want to sleep them because I might miss the incursion. I don't know. You are working on the Petra because reasons. Um, honestly, and if we're... The thing is, I'm thinking if we are Petraing here, I'm going to want to make sure to at least grab the salt. And ideally this Desert Hill, although I don't expect his borders to expand to the Desert Hill, that's going to be a pretty low priority spot. So let's make sure to at least secure that salt. And yeah, we'll uh, keep going for high production routes. Um, sure, you can go here. It's got the extra science and things. It's going to be all right. We do need to make sure we send some to Phoenicia as well. Some religious changes over here. Build some ships. Yeah. I don't like your science rate. It's very terrifying. Sweden's made an alliance with China. Cooperating with agenda, fun-loving. It all works on natural history. We constantly find details of the marvelous adaptation of animals to their food. Their would be good for us. And the localities in which Being able found. to build archaeologists is also going to be important here. Does do we want any policy changes? Let's see. Um, I don't know if we're working on any encampment type buildings right now. Last time I played was a couple of days ago. I still like the spy speed. Our international trade routes being better is nice. We got skyscrapers for wonders. I mean, we might want to change off of inspiration at some point. Theocratic League, this. It's a lot of great general points, but I mean, we could get some musicians, four points per turn. If we are thinking of doing some sort of cultural scientific decree, we might want to look into more of this. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do that, because it is four points per turn right now. Um, Faith, we're unlikely to have enough to purchase anyone at this time. That is true. Um, just trying to get an idea of where we are. Yeah, we're not going to get Schrodinger anyway. Okay, that's fine. Um, neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal. Well, we have to unlock uh, neighborhood districts first. So I don't know if we... Yeah, we're not anywhere close to getting a size 15 city. We, well, we've got a 13 over here, but yeah, it would take too long. So we'll just unlock neighborhoods. And then we'll look to build those. We've got tons of influence in Hattusa because we've got the double up over here. With Suzerain here, we are the Suzerain of Fez. Let's go ahead and get Mohandaro locked in as our Suzerain ship thing. Cities of full housing from water, even as if they're an extra river. I don't think it makes a difference for us, but, you know, it's nice. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll push towards Kabul for now. And see if we can get some more Suzerain ship going on. So we did take a little bit of damage here. Free cities, and now we don't know who you're going to rebel to. Um, and there's city bombard, so I'm, I'm going to step back here so I can't get shot by the city. You're going to come over here, and mostly we don't have to do anything with Chen, so that's going to be all right. And you'll move up a little bit here just to protect our territory. And Inquisitor, 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 no targets. We do have some train to improve. What we're going to have to do... Um, it's not the time to do it. Oh, and we are building the armory. That's right, I was going to check on that. But it's basically done. How about... Oh, did I... Oh, I did lock in a change with this. Okay, that's fine. And actually, if I wanted... Because what I'm looking to do is, is switch to public works. But then what do we swap for that? Probably not out of skyscrapers. We probably drop trade for confederation for a little while. Run public works. Too many pressing problems on Earth to be pinning our hopes on space. Yes, I know I'm not working towards the space victory. Is anyone else? No, no one else has started yet, so... You're going to be okay with that. So a little bit of fighting here. Which is a bit annoying. But should go away pretty soon. Uh, let's go straight for the research lab here. Ah, uh, I can't faith buy that, can I? I could if I had more faith, but that's really expensive. Um, we'll take a little pot shots over here. And the city there... And you'll actually just move into the city here and heal up so we don't lose you. We might lose some train, but we're going to have to go ahead and eat that loss. Done, done, done. 
was hoping to kill you so you wouldn't ruin my terrain. Okay, we've got a spy over here. No promotions available or present. I guess you have to gain sources before you start, probably. Yeah. Yeah, we want to boost those uh, those levels a little bit. That's just going to have to be the way it's going to have to be. Next turn here. Protestants, mm-hmm. She have to defend ourselves from the Protestants here to make sure no one wins a, um, a, a religious victory. That's the word. Watermills, we've got various districts. Okay, hold on. I need this to be cleared up so I can take a better look. So this is Halifax, which just completed a military engineer right so that we can build a rail, which is going to be very exciting. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a bunch more theater squares going on here. So... This is only a three-food tile. Like, this is four. We do get the extra adjacency because of all the district stuff. But plus one culture... Plus one culture versus plus one food. I don't know. And then this is the... Um, yeah, it's the government plaza. Right, right, right. And here we get plus one because it's the two districts. This is two districts plus it's a government plaza. All right. Let's just do this. Um, you could build up your medieval walls. Again, it's more tourism later. Or you could just go for a stock exchange. Honestly, our money's pretty good. We're going to want the stock exchange, but let's go ahead and get these walls going for late game tourism if we can sneak that in. Um, take the shot there. Excellent. You did. But yeah, we do need a bunch of builders here. And I'm just going to move you back to, say, Sherbrooke or something on the coast because that's where I'm kind of worried about maybe being attacked later on. Okay, military engineer, railroads, doesn't use charges, which is kind of nice, just needs iron and coal. Now, it's showing me the button alive now. Oh, you actually have to build the railroad in the city tile itself. Interesting. Shoot you. There we go. A little bit more XP. Not much, but it's something. Um, you want some of my diplomatic vote for some oil and silver, which I've already got. And a fair amount of money, admittedly, but no. Mm -hmm. Although I suppose I could have traded you some niter. That would have been okay. I can keep trading all these strategic resources. Like, put it on auto sell. Um, faith purchase. I can faith purchase the amphitheater, which I'm going to do. And then I can faith purchase the next level one. Uh, I'm going to go for an archaeological museum, since I can start building archaeologists. Now, I would love a research lab, but yeah, let's go ahead and get the archaeologists, which we can't buy anything like that. We're going to get that started. We've got more envoys available, so I will keep sinking them into cobble for now. And what we might do is, after this next spy mission on Mohandaro, um, what I might do is send you to cobble or something like that. You're going to rest. You've got one more turn over here. And it should flip to us. Inquisitor. We built a musket over here. Um, I'm not so afraid of China suddenly declaring war, but maybe I should be a little. I don't know. I'll move a musket into Halifax or something and hold that there. Uh, Inquisitor, you're good. I mean, we've got the alliance right now. It really is the coast that I've got to be more concerned about. Military engineer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to keep... Ooh, mountain tunnel. That's true. That does use some of my charges, presumably, though. So... And I probably have to build one here. This would be really handy. That would use both charges. What I need is a second engineer. I'll build a railroad here. Maybe I'll burn one charge, and then... We'll see... Where we're going to build a second engineer. I've got a bunch of money. Can you just purchase an engineer for something reasonable? If I get a Courser, that's actually going to be another Envoy. Let me do that. That completes a mission. I don't know if that shows up there, but I'm going to do it. We could use a couple of units, so... Uh, you can move into Brantford and then just rest and heal up here. The natural history of this archipelago oh, we found the Galapagos. is very remarkable. Bonus science to adjacent spots. That's cool. Where is it? Yeah, way over here. So nothing that we're going to be taking advantage of, but... Fair enough. Now, did it make sense to spend the money in the Courser? I mean, basically we're buying an Envoy and an extra military unit to kick around. Okay, everyone wants my Diplo power. And admittedly, I have way more than I need to keep securing votes for the, um, the leader, but I'm going to keep saying no. Especially, I've got the furs. Maybe we could, you know, just move this around. What would you give me for just open borders? And 
Well, I don't need the furs. What would you give me for just open borders? Just eight flat gold? Yeah, let's hold off. Everyone wants my votes. I don't have silk, though. You've got coffee. You've got mercury. You've got tea. So all the things I have duplicates of. Three gold per turn in exchange for silk. I'm totally okay with this. Okay, permanent thing. Aha! Uh, we are going to keep this city. Boom! Plus three era score. Very nice. Um, next era is still, like, theoretically far away. We're currently in a dark age, and right now we're on schedule to be in a dark age. We're flipping people over even when we're in dark age. Dido has captured a city. I am not going to join the emergency against her. Even though we, I actually get more for participating in these things. But we don't have troops. Like, I could get a lot of Diplo power from contributing to these things. But mm, mm. I think I get more reward from, uh, from these things as well. Which is interesting. Two civic boosts. It would be really... But I can't, I can't force this. Is the problem. Because it's just great people generation per turn. And I don't... I mean... Going up to plus four from changing our policy was actually one of the things I could do to help that, so that's done now. Hermit, 97 turns. Yeah, let's not start that here in Chen. Um, we don't... I can't remember. We do still have veterancy, so let's go and build the barracks here right away. Five turns, it'll give us a nice production boost. Um, I'm also going to purchase this aluminum before Moendero grabs it, even though we're allied. And if I had more money, I would buy the silver right away. We'll still leave it there. All right, Inquisitor, the Engineer. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. Get some error score. Okay, that's nice. So we got a tunnel here, but we still will have to build one more. And I did use a build charge, yeah. So I'd still rather not consume him to finish that right now. But it will be really nice to be able to just run through those borders. So I'm going to go and put the Courser in Calgary, just for a little bit of token border defense. I mean, we're clearly playing Canadian. We have, like, practically no army and practically no navy. We are Canada. You want olives and some iron in exchange for marble which and chocolate. Both of, Actually, I don't have any chocolate going on right now. So I'll do that, plus it gives us the opportunity to maybe trade away some marble. That's going to be fine. Okay. And I mean, in theory, I'm betting my cities are fairly happy. Yeah. Special Congress. Oh, this is for the emergency, uh, which might put me in a war. Okay, it failed. Yeah, would put me maybe in a war because I do have an alliance with the target of the emergency, which would be super awkward. Um, yeah, you can just go and fortify up over here, though. And you've got the railroad, which is good. Let's go down. This is pretty rough terrain. We'll go ahead and build a bunch of railroad down here. So we'll be able to move around our territory pretty quickly. I do love that railroads are back, baby. Always felt good in previous versions of Civs to go crazy with that. Um, Inquisitor, actually, no, no, you're not going to stay here. You're going to go to one of my border cities. There we go. Maybe I can just leave these Inquisitors. I'm going to have to pay attention for when people actually enter the territory here, which is going to be trickier. Maybe I could sleep most of them and just keep one of them awake to remind me to check. You want olive and niter. You're going to give me whales, which I don't have. More chocolate, but this would be Swedish chocolate. That sounds very good. And a little bit of money. All right, let's go for it. Can keep trading away the niter. Everyone else can build an army. I don't need one. You can absolutely have an embassy. I'm okay with this. Um, oh, yes, we are protecting. This is our quartermaster. She's giving plus one spy level to everyone else. Maybe it makes more sense since we don't have that many spies to send them out, but I also want to kind of keep them safe. That's going to be okay. Any chance we can... Oh, yeah, let's keep a resident embassy going on here. Oh, I did want to buy a tile. That is true. I just want to see if, like, the alliance renewal screen has come up for anyone. No, we do want the embassies, though. It is actually really handy. Oh, and I do have enough to buy another tile. I forgot we're making huge banks. There we go. Let's make sure to lock in that silver. Yeah, we do need a bunch of builders, though. So you, I still don't know where you're going to flip to. Um, you can just be on alert mode over here. That's going to have to be okay. Um, and yeah, I'm still thinking some of the coastal cities. Here, put a unit in Peterborough. It's borders China and it's coastal cities, so that's going to be okay. Uh, this Inquisitor, yeah, we'll just put you to sleep. And you're going to move down here. And build some more rail. Who doesn't love trains? 
Alright, you can just be on alert mode over here. I will put you to sleep there. Well, that sounds like, oh man, this Inquisitor, this Inquisitor named Old Yellers, like you know, just, is, just having a rough time. We gotta put him to sleep king. now. Feels terrible. All right, clear, clear the screen. So I'm gonna get rid of Trade Confederation for now, even though it's super valuable and I love it, it's great, but we're gonna have to run um, Public Works because we need to build a bunch of builders. So we'll be building them faster and we'll get extra chargers. So that's gonna be good. We keep veterancy for now. I'm very happy about that. Um, Machiavellianism maybe isn't the most potent and important right now. The Raj actually might be better. Vesel Bank will keep. We only have one spy doing operations. We're not building any right now, so we'll run Raj because we do have quite a few states we're, we're suzerains of. Um, but that doesn't actually do as much as I'd hoped. Didn't we go from 169 to 170? Aren't we supposed to get two science per suzerain? I'm a little confused, but okay. We can unlock our Mountie, um, which we'll probably get once we build a district with a good appeal, but maybe we'll wait until that, that triggers in. Um, let's just work on mass media, because Broadway, Christopher Nuntor, I mean, we want culture and tourism, which, as Canada, we do get more... Um, see, we're getting plus two from government. We got the alliances. We, we do get more influence for tourism once we start generating that. So it is going to be a high value thing. Now we still want science. Oh, uh, we probably, I'll, I'll still build the market. It's going to build fast and that will give us an extra trade route, which is hugely, hugely valuable. We're going to build a railroad through whatever this is. And we've connected two cities, Montreal and Halifax. There's some era score for us. I mean, we're still dark ages, but we're getting a little bit closer. So St. Basil's Cathedral is serviced by a railroad. You have nothing... Right, you just got sources, which is great. That's not a ton of money. So we'll just steal a tech boost. Boom. New settlements. Yeah, we got lots of information. We got almost too much information. Venetia wants to declare war on Antonin and Banana Revo. Well, that's just rude, man. Um, okay, Montreal... definitely need these wonders to be built yeah we're gonna do that we can always faith buy the research lab later on let's start the hermitage um i guess replacing this tile here well it sucks to lose a little bit of production do we want to flip any tiles over to you has to be on the river so i guess we could go and build it on this marsh here that way you won't lose any production let's do that that's gonna be okay so 41 turns, we can put you on production focus, but it's okay. Bolshoi, we also want. Uh, that's pretty slow production. And if we do things with trade routes and stuff like that, we might be able to get a little bit better. Uh, why don't you at least build a water mill first for a little bit more production? That'll probably be helpful. Um, Brantford also has the option of building a Chichen Itza, which go goes right. If I do this, does it remove the bananas and everything like that? I mean, it's it's not a useful wonder for what it gives us because we keep chopping the rainforest, but it is another wonder that can exist. How's your housing? Oh, your housing is terrible. Let's go and housing up. Um, maybe we won't build the actual neighborhoods under the volcano because that sounds like a really dumb idea. On the other hand... So really, it's over here. We get to decide if we want the plus five at the cost of quite a bit of food, which is a bit disappointing. Although losing a bunch of production sucks as well. To me, this feels like a weaker tile right here, but with only the four appeal. I mean, this is the weakest, but I don't want to have to rebuild districts. I think, I think we'll just go here. At least when we get the neighborhood, we can build a grocery store so we can get some of the food back, so that's going to be okay. All right, so you've got the rail going there, which is great. Um, let's move towards, say, Hamilton now. There we go. Get sort of an arterial railroad through our empire for now. So every time we use a little steel and coal, I think, but we've got, like, basically infinite amounts. Yes, you can absolutely build a, an embassy here. I don't mind. Keep a good relationship. There we go, we discovered rocketry. Rocket tree has been mythologized all out of proportion to its true difficulty. We can build missile silos. <laughs> um, let's go like the factory industrial zone. We can build our way. Uh, how's your housing? It is capped right now. So let's actually get the neighborhood first. Did you... 
Yeah, we got beaten to the Orza. Damn, I was like, why do we have so much production kicked around? That would be why. Yeah, we'll probably just build the neighborhood. I would like to build it on one of the dead tiles in the, um, the desert here. So maybe we'll wait until we've got a little bit more, more money in Quebec City. Just go ahead and get started on your industrial zone. Ah, oh, that is sad, but what are you going to do, huh? Mm. Okay, let's see if we might want to beeline to something that can help us get another wonder. Um, I would love to build the Eiffel Tower, so let's trust, try to beeline towards steel. You know, discounts be damned. We still have the discount to building things like the armory, so let's do that. Plus, it'll give me more production down the road, and that's going to be handy. Let's go right over here and build the railroad. Excellent. And you can be on alert mode up over here. Wonderful. Beaten some more wonders. Well, maybe we can at least finish the Petra. That would be nice. Okay, fabricate another scandal. Lovely. Excellent. Good job, spy. And this is not actually within my borders. I don't know if I can build a railroad here. I could build a... Oh, I can. Okay. So we're going to... You've got a promotion, which is nice. You can fabricate scandals better, actually. You could disrupt rocketry and things like this, too, but maybe Samuel's just going to stay in city-states. I was talking about doing that already. I think I was talking about moving them to Kabul. So, yeah, let's um, let's use him for that. A little bit of uh, religious warfare going on over here. And, yes, we are going to move you... Whee! Scroll, 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 scroll to Kabul where we are currently trying to place some dudes. And we want to unplace some other dudes. So bank and everything, it's really good for money, but I don't know if it needs to rush. We are housing capped over here. Seems like another neighborhood's a good idea. We can build one here on the tundra, which sounds fine, because other than uh, hockey rinks, we're not really going to use the tundra sites. Um, I could wrap around here for the rail to Ottawa. I mean, it's going to have a shortcut sort of through this tunnel at some point. Actually, let's do that, then we'll go down to Hamilton. We'll get some tickets to Hamilton. Hey, hey, I hear they're really hard to get, but I think that's going to be okay for us. And on that terrible, terrible joke, we are going to go and put a cut in this video, folks. Oh, yeah, Jing did go over here, which doesn't surprise me because, again, we are not in a golden age. Um, so it didn't surprise me that that flipped the other way because we don't have as much influence. She keeps expanding down here, and I guess that's fine. I mean, we sort of kind of wanted it, but... We also kind of sort of have other things. I forgot, I changed to a policy to build builders, and I'm not building any builders. On the other hand, we really do need to get these neighborhoods down for sure. Any chance we got a great person on the menu yet? No, not yet. But uh, there's other things we can do with Faith, like buy all the research labs. Okay, still generally happy with where we are. I'm not, I mean, we're not cruising to a win right now, but still generally happy with where we are. So we'll see how it goes next time. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.